and the head coach of the Wildcats, Pat Fitzgerald, joining us now. Coach, about 24 hours after a tough loss, where are you mentally? Well, I'm pretty exhausted. I'm so proud of our guys, Dave. Uh, you know, it was a battle yesterday, without a doubt. And uh, credit Coach Day, his staff, is uh, incredibly talented players. Hard-fought battle, and uh, they made the plays down the stretch that Big Ten champions make. And we made the mistakes you can't make against an outstanding team that deserves to be in the Final Four. But, uh, you know, you get great news this afternoon that we're headed to Orlando to the Verbo Citrus Bowl. Uh, I'm stoked, man. That's the site of my last college game, and I'm excited to bring the Cats back to Florida. Yes, I recall you ran into a fellow named Peyton Manning in that game who, who was pretty good. But what does it mean? He's not me? playing this week, is he, or next week? <laughs> not that I'm aware of. I don't believe he is on Auburn's <laughs> roster, no. Yes, yeah, so, so you can breathe easier. No um, Bo Jackson? No Bo Jackson either? <laughs> yeah. No, I think, I think you're pretty clear there, too. Well, what does it mean to be back to a site where you do have memories as a player well we're just really thankful dave i mean it was a tough season a year ago to get our seniors back to the big 10 championship game devastating not to win disappointing but we'll take a couple days to get over it and then uh you know you, you move on you start studying a new opponent uh projected weather 70 degrees and sunny uh on new year's day uh, i'm just I, I couldn't be more ecstatic for our players they've earned it it's been such a challenge such a hard year for everybody in college football, but it pales a comparison to those in the front lines, uh, you know, in the medical fields and the hospitals and, and uh, to have an opportunity to go compete one more time against an outstanding SEC opponent in Auburn, our guys will be excited. You did end up getting what is essentially the second best Big Ten bowl slot. What does that mean about the respect that your team garnered? Well, to be divisional champs, you know, to beat some outstanding teams this year, you know, and especially I want to, you know, credit Iowa and the run that they've been on. You know, we we were very fortunate to win that game. And you know, we made mistakes in two games and it cost us dearly. And I think our guys are disappointed about that. But I also think the way that we've played, the way we've competed uh, to be COVID free the entire season, the sacrifice and discipline our entire program has demonstrated. Um, you know, I, I'm just really thankful for all of our players and our staff and their families and just excited to go out one more time with this group. And, and yeah, you know, to be in, in the second slot in the Big Ten pecking order, uh, I think our guys earned it with the way they competed last night. I think we earned this opportunity, not only throughout the whole season, but especially yesterday at the Big Ten Championship. Fitz, I need to ask you one last question before we go. There are reports surfacing today from a very well-sourced NFL reporter that there are NFL teams lining up to talk to you after Northwestern's bowl game. You said a couple years ago after the bowl win against Utah that Northwestern was home forever for you. Will you be Northwestern's head coach next year? Well, I sure hope to be. I mean, if they want me to be here, that's the plan. I love it here. I love being a Wildcat. Um, you know, in these types of discussions, I'm very, I'm very humbled. Uh, anytime it's positive things that are said about you, um, it, it really beats the alternative and is uh, you know, someone that's been in this profession for a long time to know how hard this season is, this after, this postseason uh, in our profession, to hear positive things means your team has had a great year. It means your staff has had a great year. And the credit goes to all of all of those folks. Uh, I just get the privilege to be our leader. So appreciate the question, understand it, and uh, honored and humbled to be the, the head football coach here at Northwestern. So uh, let's, go, let's go get another bowl win. That's what I'm excited about. So to be clear, not pursuing those opportunities. I'm, I'm fired up, Dave. Fired up, man. Looking forward to getting after it here this week. So you can keep, you can keep asking. We'll, we'll be fired up to get after it. So All right. I think I've said enough. <laughs> Pat Fitzgerald, head coach of the Wildcats. Fitz, thanks a lot for your time. Congratulations. Had a great season. Yeah, we're fired up to be going to Orlando, buddy. Thanks a lot. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Go Cats.